Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create this scene okay, when we will work on the terrains, create a fractal terrain with the displacement, different computings. We'll be working with the rocks applied so they will properly placement on um, displacement terrain. So we will work with this with computing node. We also will use it high field terrains to creating this mountain as well when we work with materials we'll work with the image based materials with um, map and masking images type as well as the fractal shaders to create we also will work with a backdrop to create this background with a nebula look planets we will we'll create the rings for the planet and we will work with also um, kind of restricted clouds a little bit with that and I end we'll go inside the Photoshop and we'll do this ending post process inside the Photoshop to enhance again here is the straight picture from the charge and three and this is with a maybe let's add additional punch illustration type inside the Photoshop so let's go ahead and start working on this project I will begin by creating the terrain and we'll look on some options in the terrain what we can do and what we can create so right here you'll notice we have a default we have our fractal terrain and we have it also um, our simple shape which is kind of flatten out area around camera so we will keep those for now um, what I want to do it is apply a little bit more effect to our fractal terrain we can do this by adding additional details by connect to input node of our fractal terrain. So let's do this way. I'm going to um, create shaders, displacement, and we're going to select a powerful fractal so right here. Okay, let's go to connect this. You'll notice that also it does change on our flat, so it's not anymore so flat areas and uh, this is one of the easiest way when you want to create a big mountain you want to have it a little bit flattened value but you want to add a little bit more of um, shape or distortions inside you can just easy by adding fractal to um, powerful fractal to our base and it will apply including our flat areas okay so let's go ahead inside the some settings and right here I want to modify first I want increase details so it won't be scale them a little bit up less noise okay also um, we leave it lead in and all the settings is same let's go inside the displacement tab and right here what I want to do is actually decrease by half so I want to have some interesting shape but not overwhelm just add some of those details as well okay we'll leave it offset and roughness let's bring down as well on the displacement spike okay inside the noise let's switch from the purlin metals so it will create nice bulging effect uh, we can take our camera let's bring a little bit closer to the surface and right here you can see we have a very interesting large effect on the terrain so it's create this kind of bolding okay this is very simple shape and I kind of like it but what I want to do I want to create um, Maybe some hero mountain around here and when I say hero mountain it's a mountain with a lot of details some look very interesting and take our attention so maybe you know what um, let me just readjust just create mountain right here put it planet behind this I think this is can be nice um, going along uh, kind of creating areas and I do like with terrains currently so you always preview give it nice um, view but you sometimes want click and render with high resolution so some of those polygonal effects will be gone and you can see more clear 
how it will look. And you can see it's got very nice um, effect. Some erosion, maybe molded lava partially. Even without any applying shaders materials, it's look already better than just the flat. So it's small, small things. Um, next, let's go to add some of the um, mountains to this, some hero mountain. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually inside the world machine and create very fast some shape. If you don't have a world machine, uh, the maps is available download with a purchase pack so you can just open and use them from there.